coming in representing mochi. We got the lychee one. And then we got the durian mochi. And I think this no, is- No, that is true. Nelson's dog is named mochi. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to part two of our new Asian snack video here at 99 Ranch. And in this video, we're in the sweet section. Hey, we got some heavy hitters. We got some OG stuff and some new stuff. Yo, let's go see how many different flavors they got. All right, we are making it to the candy aisle. We can stop at the choco pie and already see all the different flavors that they have here. All right, we have just bumped into our friend Cassandra. Hi. Yo, Cassandra, you know that yeah. there's some new Hajoy, new Pretz, and new Pocky flavors. Pep it off. You guys know these brands. This is pretty much the, oh, yeah. the stick brands. Yo, you know what is crazy? In the fake dry Japanese ice cream yeah. has made it to America. I don't think that these have made it en masse because they slapped the import sticker on it. This is crazy. You Yo. guys got to check these out. If you guys know, we have had the Milkitas on camera before. But here's the vanilla shake, the honeydew, Ooh. the strawberry. We've had all these flavors before. But this is new, the cappuccino shake. Yo, uh, Ramune gummy and soft candy. I've had the original Ramune soda candy. I have not had the juicy fruit flavor Ramune soda. I they're, love this gummy. This is the OG though. Great. I would this say these are the three OG flavors, but the cranberry one, that's new. Hold on. Hold on now. Dude. Guys, high chews are coming with it. I have sours, high chew sours. What do you got? I got the, the fruit, the plus fruit, which I don't know what that means. No. Two flavors in one piece. Ah. You got the double fruit. Guys, you know, this is one of the classics talking about white rabbit, but now they got the matcha one. We call that the green rabbit. I gotta give a shout out because you know, a lot of the snacks are either from Japan, Korea, or Taiwan. This one's from Shanghai. Yeah, I don't know if we had any snacks that was from Hong Kong. Man, I don't know, how come they don't do any Chashio flavored chips or something? <laughs> All right, so representing Hong Kong, we got the durian and the cappuccino flavor wafer. Um, you guys, uh, we have variations on the Taiwanese pineapple cake. This one, the black sesame, is new at least to America. It's the black album. Um, in the... They've had this in Asia <laughs> for sure, but the Sun Moon Lake, and we've been to Sun Moon Lake in Taiwan. Yo, yo, we we biked around Sun Moon Lake. Ah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah time I've been there. Oh. Hey, you guys, the chocolate mochi though. You know what, you guys? There's been an expansion and explosion in mochi for sure. Durian, I mean, a lot of people are probably thinking like, I don't think Japanese people eat durian. I'm just gonna go with no. No, no, no. It's not kidding. big. It's not no, big. No, 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 no. Uh, Ooh, okay. Yo, Lamune glowed up. Oh my goodness. Look at the dinner. Is this Kool Aid? Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaiian blue. All right, they have strawberry. This is the original flavor. It's sort of like a fizzy soda, but it's like difficult yeah. to explain yeah. what regular Lamune tastes like. The design on this one looking kind of weak, though. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we've got it covered. Don't worry, I know you guys come here for facts. We've got facts. You guys, we have arrived, the main card, the title fight. We are on round two of the expanded Asian snack line. All right, you guys, we are starting with the La Mune first. I have three original flavor Ramune's from three different brands. I got the original Shirakiku. This is the new guy. <laughs> this is the new guy from Miz. So I think, I feel like if I had to guess, based off of the packaging, this guy's coming in as kind of like the budget one. All right, let's try the Shirakiku first. Oh, Woo! Right. Fizzy fizz. So original. you let the marble get stuck in that little crevice right here, so you can drink the whole thing. Okay, that's nice. Kind of has like a kind of like a sprite, but not as strong. Flavored, very clean. That's the Sierra Kiku. All right. That one, oh, Ooh. this one has a lot of carb. Who shook Ooh. this up? Way fizzier, way more carbonation, a little bit sweeter. This is the new yeah, guy. This is this. This tastes a little bit more like watered down Sprite, which I don't hate, but it's not that unique. Guys, I think so far in the battle of the Ramune. It really goes in this order. The original stands and remains the best one, right. and then it goes down the line here. Yo, no, this you. is you, oh, Hawaiian man. blue. I want to try this lychee one. Hold on, man. I think you got to put your whole palm on it. Woo! Gotcha. All right, guys, cheers, man. 
I, I would say the Shiraki one is pretty good, but um, it generally tastes like a Lamune mixed with a, an American grape soda. I feel like the original flavor of Lamune is really the only one that feels unique. Shout out to Hawaiian Blue. What'd you think? It tastes like a, just like an ordinary blue raspberry flavor, but they make it look cool, you know, with Hawaii. We've got the flowers and everything. A lot of Japanese in Hawaii. All right, you guys, the next expanded product line that we're gonna check out here at 99 Ranch is the Choco Pie. We got the matcha green tea one. You got the banana, you got the fresh strawberry yeah, one. Matcha, let's go. Taste that, taste it. And that's for the matcha for people who what don't is like matcha. Because banana cream. Oh, I smell the banana right off the rip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right off the rip. <laughs> right off the rip. <laughs> Yo, this one got good, man. It has a layer of this sticky banana filling. You smell that banana as you bite into it. But this one a little different. Okay. It doesn't cover it, it just looks like a sandwich. It smells like a soft strawberry cream. Let's go for it. Overall, I kind of like it. It was really light though. Like the flavor was not strong. There was not a lot of jelly filling. I thought they could have added that jelly filling. That would have been nice to have that moisture. I would have liked to see it maybe with the chocolate. Yeah. Interesting. We have gotten to the biscuits with filling round. You have an array of pretz, pockies, and pejois, and pepperos, and, and pandas, all peas. I'm not the biggest fan of the Pocky or Pepperon style. You mean the stick covered in something. You know what I hate about Hello Panda growing up though? You guys ever eat it? There's nothing inside. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a Hello Panda, Yo. that's a Hollow Panda. You see, mine doesn't have filling in it. Are you sure oh. you did just didn't suck nah, like I'm just kidding. <laughs> Got him. But I thought it was gonna fill up the whole thing, but it's only like half. Like I, I really said, out we here. in the we 99 Ranch here. right now. I have a mixed berry Pejoy. These are the chocolate bananas. Uh, I got the sweet corn pretz. The mixed berry Pejoy did a really solid job. But you know me, ultimately I'm still more of a chocolate person. Does it, does it taste mixed? Like, you can't identify what berry it is, but you know it's a berry? Yeah, it's a mixed berry flavor. Oh, okay. This biscuit is supposed to be chocolate. This is not a chocolate dip with a banana covering on top. This is supposed to be a chocolate biscuit with banana topping, but it, the chocolate biscuit is not comparable to the banana topping. So to me, it's unfair. I think for the sweet corn press, initially you do taste the sweet corn flavor, but then the, the flavoring of the overall biscuit afterwards just kind of overwhelms it. I got a new version of the Yan Yan. Fun animal name games on each stick. Cracker stick with dip. Mouse eats cheese. <laughs> Rabbit eats more carrot. Cat has nine lives. Rhinoceros, nose horn. Elephant, longest nose. Wow, that strawberry dip is creamy. All right, you guys, we have a cookies and cream battle between Japan and Korea going down right now. Between Pocky and Pepero, Pepero. it's going down. All right, visualization. No policy. Pepero. Got it, Up, upper hand. Well, that looks like a battle no, This is the LeBron, this is the Lonzo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, going in. Taste-wise, it tastes the same. Very identical. But this one, obviously, you're getting a lot more cookie crunch in it. And the battle between the Pepero cookies and cream and the Pocky, man, which one you roll yeah, with? Yeah, I need some hard, I need some hard, uh, To eat the whole pack, like let's say you gotta eat the man. whole pack, which one you choose? Going with the Koreans, man, Pepero, man. Shout out to the Koreans. <laughs> we got the milk, this is like premium, this is like the premium brand. Uh, it's got the sticker from Japan, that means it's a direct import. These are definitely thicker than your regular Pockies. They say they got extra milk, extra biscuits. Give it a shot. Oh, wow. That chocolate is soft. You notice that? The biscuit is hard, but the chocolate's soft. Way more milky, a lot more distinct, way more soft. Premium. Premium, yeah. man. It's premium. premium. You guys, we gotta get through these high chews. I got the plus Ooh, fruit. They got all types of flavors within the fizzies, but I'm gonna try the cola fizzy. I don't know, David, you get a fizzy feeling? Short answer is no. It tastes like the fizzy candies after the fizz. If there's a slight fizziness, I would say maybe 15%, not a whole lot. High chew sours, lime flavor. It's not sour at all. <laughs> it does taste like lime though. You guys, last but not least, we have product line expansions on snacks that have been around for many decades. Ooh, many decades, I'm ones. talking about Plus, <laughs> plus 30 years. The jellies have been around. The mochi's have been around. The mochi's been around for centuries. How many pineapple cake's been around? The Hong Kong wafer's been around. Surprisingly, white rabbit candy has been around for a long time. I'm glad to see the older companies expand the product line. Well, let's start with the OG, guys. White rabbit candy. This is coming now in a matcha flavor. Like I said, man, I think it's been around, but it just got to America. I'd like to see a strawberry. Cream. You know what I could tell? I think white rabbit, they're so traditional. They don't want to step into the fruit lane. Andrew, you are taking the pineapple cakes. Give me now, pineapple cakes. You from Macau, you have been assigned the garden cream wafers. And I've got the mochis from Taiwan. 
with the lychee and the durian flavor. Oh my goodness, I can smell that from here. Durian Hong Kong wafer. Brings back so many memories, man. A lot of eating durian is the smell first. Yeah. It flavors the durian even more as you smell it. If you enjoy you durian, you're gonna like that. Right, I'm going in lychee mochi, guys. Well, the think, consistency ratio between you know filling and mochi is very off. I, just, I don't want to be a negative Nancy, but I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the mochi. Okay. I like mochi ice cream. I, I thought it was cool. Yeah, I, thought cool. It was cool. I thought it was cool. The durian mochi. Unleash the durian. Not not a strong smell. Very light. Very hard to taste that durian flavor. I think that that, that would be a good introduction point for somebody who's yeah. like very skeptical about yeah. going all in on the durian. Yeah. All right, guys. These are pineapple cakes, but you know pineapple mm. cakes. Not always pineapple. Now. They have black sesame, nope. they have strawberry, they have green tea, and a bunch of other flavors. But these are just the ones that are available at 99 Ranch. Oh, I like that. That looks good. That's a good pineapple cake. How shredded it is. It looks fresh. Oh, fresh. I like the coloring on that one. Very I vibrant. Turn. I like the strawberry one. I like green tea. It's very solid, very subtle. I feel like that's a lot about green tea flavored stuff. Not really tasting the black sesame. Oh. Guys, last but not least, you have the black tea flavored jelly from Sun Moon Lake. The Sun Moon Lake Ruby Black Tea Jelly. Give that thumbs up. Two thumbs up. That's good, right? All right, so we just finished video two. What was your guys' favorite? out of this section. I like the banana cream choco pie. Ah, okay, okay. I thought that was strong. And I really liked, obviously, the Sun Moon Lake Black Ruby Tea Jelly. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed the Sour High Chews, grapefruit flavor. I like the Mixed Berry Pajoy. And also, uh, this might sound crazy, the wafers, man. All right, you guys, in the comment section below, please let us know what are some of your favorite Asian snacks. And number two, make sure you let us know what product lines you would like to see expanded. And until next time, we out. Peace. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Big shout out to 99 Ranch Market. Shout out to Nelson for Hooper Life. Go check out his channel. You guys, click the subscribe button. Turn your notifications on. They're very interesting, actually. Hey, that was like an awesome power. <laughs>